guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and welcome i am taylor today i'm going to be sharing a halloween what's for breakfast video if you're anything like me you're trying to make the holidays extra special for your kids this year so i thought doing some fun halloween themed breakfast would be a really cute idea um, whether or not you want to do this on halloween morning or like leading up to halloween i thought that all of these ideas were super fun and really easy Okay, this first breakfast that I'm sharing with you requires minimal effort. I've got some bagels. I chose to use cinnamon raisin bagels just because I think that my kids will like these best. You can do plain, you can do whatever flavor you want. Then I've got some cream cheese, and then I've got some candy eyeballs. You could also just use some chocolate chips as the eyeballs. I'm gonna go ahead and toast up the bagels, and then we'll put on the cream cheese and some candy eyeballs and they will look like little spooky ghost bagels. Okay, and here is breakfast for the kids. Super easy to do and just makes it a little bit fun. Looks like a little ghost and then they've got some strawberries. Okay, this morning I am making some little mummy cream cheese danishes. So for this I have a little tube of the crescent dough sheets. I've got some sugar, I'm gonna need a fourth a cup of that, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and I've got about six ounces of cream cheese. Um, we had used some of this, but uh, not all of it. And I just stuck that in the microwave for 20 seconds to soften it because who has time in the morning to soften cream cheese before making breakfast? So I just softened that in the microwave, as I said, for 20 seconds. And then I've got my candy eyeballs, some powdered sugar, and milk, and all that will be at the end just to top our little mummies with. So for the filling, we just need the cream cheese, the vanilla, and the sugar. I'm going to go ahead and get all of that in my kitchen aid and beat it together and get it all mixed and then we will cut our crescent dough sheets into our little mummy shapes. Okay, I have laid out my crescent dough sheet. I've also preheated my oven to 375 degrees. I'm gonna cut this into six equal pieces, hopefully. Okay, now we're gonna need strips on the sides of each one to like have our mummy things to fold over. So I'm gonna do, cut little strips, not all the way into the middle, I'm gonna leave like a third of this uncut in the middle of each one.
Okay, now I'm going to spread the cream cheese filling evenly across the six of them right in the center. Okay, now we are going to fold these up. I'm going to take the top ones and kind of bring them in like this. And same with the bottom ones. To kind of form a little pocket so the cream cheese hopefully doesn't leak out. And then I'm going to use the other ones to kind of fold it over. Okay, now these guys are going to go in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Now, while that's baking, I'm going to make a little glaze to go over the top of it. So in this bowl, I have added in half a cup of powdered sugar, and then I'm just gonna add a couple tablespoons of milk, you could use water as well, just until it forms a nice consistency for the glaze. Okay, mummies are out of the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the eyeballs on each one and drizzle them with some of the glaze. Okay, here are the kids' plates. They didn't want anything else, so they just have their little mummy cheese danish. And then I made them a little jack-o'-lantern mandarin, which I will have to peel for them. But I thought it looked cute on the plate. Very festive for Halloween, so that's another little idea of Halloween stuff you could do. But we will let you know how the cheese danishes are. For the last breakfast idea, I made air fryer biscuit donuts that look like screaming ghosts. I used the Pillsbury Grand Flaky Layers biscuits and I rolled each one out with my rolling pin and then I used the little plastic like icing bag tip to cut holes for eyes and a mouth. I stretched the hole for the mouth a little bit and I was able to fit four of these in my air fryer at a time.
I sprayed them with some olive oil and then I air fried them on 360 for six minutes. When they were done, I sprinkled them with some powdered sugar. These turned out really good. I had never had the air fryer like biscuit donuts before. I've seen people do it and just never tried it. And they actually turned out pretty good. What was y'all's favorite breakfast? If you could pick one out of the bagel with cream cheese that looked like a ghost, the mummy, or the screaming ghost donut, which one was each of your favorite? The mummy. The mummy was your favorite? What about you? The mummy or the screaming ghost. The mummy or the donut? Yes. But if you could pick one, which one would you pick? The screaming ghost, but you liked all of them, even the yeah. even the bagel. Yeah, yes. everything was good. Yeah. All right, thank you. If I had to pick one favorite, it would definitely be those cream cheese Danish mummies. I just really like cream cheese Danishes, but the mummies were also just so adorable. Like I loved them; they were so cute. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you plan on trying any of these recipes and if your kids end up liking them. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.